presenting downtown Utica as a place for business, growth, and investments. This is actually a job on Oneida County's payroll. Our Ben Dennis caught up with the man doing it and why the completion of that proposed hospital is right on his radar. David Catalfamo is Oneida County's Economic Development Director. Back in March, Oneida County Executive Anthony Vicente tasked him to market downtown Utica with one major project in mind, a proposed Mohawk Valley Health System hospital. My responsibility and what the county executive has asked me to do is to go out and basically educate people, educate investors about the opportunities here that, that can really be done right alongside of huge public investment that's essentially sort of unrivaled around upstate New York. With the the potential dawning of a brand new hospital, Catalfamo believes that investors may find interest in areas of housing as well as mixed medical office space for downtown Utica. One of the things that like to come around hospital is our imaging services, specialty services, right? So all kinds of doctors, groups, and uh, medical professionals tend to cluster around hospitals. Part of Catalfamo's marketing pitch includes a new federal economic development opportunity with what are called opportunity zones. Downtown Utica was labeled one of them after opportunity zones were added to the federal tax code in 2017. The biggest and best thing about an opportunity zone is it's essentially part of, as you said, the federal tax reform to encourage folks who have a capital gain, right? If we could have a capital gain in the stock market, you could sell some real estate and have a capital gain and basically tell them if you invest in this community, if you invest in this area, for example, around the hospital, you can actually shield any uh, th that investment from taxes for a period of over a decade. Catalfamo says his job entails communication with other entities involved with economic development, including the city of Utica, Mohawk Valley Edge, and the Community Foundation. In Utica, Ben Dennis, Eyewitness News, First at 10.